On behalf of my partner, Matt Callen, we wanted to welcome you to, uh, this is a demo video for Press Play. We're going to show you uh, all the uh, really cool features that we've built into the application so you get a better understanding of what it is. Um, it's been performing either as good or even better than some of those those videos. And so let me just show you uh, a brief overview of, of the application. Um, basically, you're going to log in. You're going to see all of your different projects. Each project you can click on, and you'll be able to see. You, you can have lots of different campaigns under one project, and this is really good for split testing. So you can see, you know, your views, uh, your conversions, and then your conversion rate. And uh, we also have a full stats page, which I'll, I'll show you show you here in a minute. Um, but this is what it's going to look like, and then um, you can, you know, easily add a new project. You just have to give it a name and then it'll create a project uh, under your or on your dashboard okay now one other thing i do want to show you is we have an email integration page so we do integrate at the api level with aweber get response and mailchimp and then you could also add in any autoresponder code um, you know html code when you're building out your page okay and then we also have a go to webinar service as well so if you want them to opt in to go to webinar you can do that as well so let me uh, go ahead and just dive right into this so you can see how it works so just for this uh, circumstance I'm just gonna create a new project we'll just call it testing and so you have two different options you can create a page or a video. Now, if you create a page, you're creating a full VSL or video sales letter page, along with, along with one of our what we call a smart video. And so I'm going to do that because if you only do a video, that allows you to create, you know, a, a smart video that you can embed on any page that you want to. So I'm going to show you a page because it involves both the page and the video. So, um, you know, say I, this is just my, you know, I'll just call this main, you know, VSL page or whatever you want to call it and then you go to next step and so we've built in a whole bunch of different templates that you can choose from and we're also adding more um, so there's probably I think 20 20 more templates that we're going to be adding to this library uh, and this is that's also going to be the first OTO so the first upsell is going to be um, they're gonna get these base templates but then we also have 20 other really cool templates that they can use and um, and so that'll be the first uh, one-time offer. So for this circumstance, I'm just gonna I'll just click on this one here, and it's gonna create the project. And you'll see that it brings us into the editor. Now the editor is something that we're actually still working on. Um, so it's gonna look a little bit different than what you see here. It's gonna be much more, um, much cleaner. Uh, it's not gonna take up as much of this window. Uh, if you wanted to, you can actually increase this here. And so you're gonna see here, you'll have sales page settings and video settings and you can start by editing your page we're gonna have an inline editor right now uh, we don't have an inline editor you just go in and you have to you know go into your headline and you can change you know change the text here okay so you can go in and, and you can change all the text on the page you can enable a header if you want to you can disable the header um, you know all of these different areas are customizable and of course you know once we do go to launch it will have more flexibility um, and of course, if you don't want to use our templates, you can just use the video and embed it onto your own uh, your own site. But um, it's it's fairly simple. You know, if you've used uh, you know lead pages or click funnels or anything like that, um, you just kind of walk through each of the different options. And so I'll just kind of walk through uh, some of the options and features that we have for the templates themselves. So the first one is. You know, we have, you can do an image or you can do a color or a video. So say that I just wanted to make this a color, you know, I can go ahead and, and change the background as I want to. I could even do uh, a video, which is pretty cool. So you can do video backgrounds. Um, so you can select, you know, here's, here's the video background. You know, maybe I can choose this one here. And so we have lots of, of pre, uh, preloaded uh, images as well as videos that you can use. And uh, just for now, I'll just go to, I'll click select, and you know, we have a whole bunch of pre-designed ones here. And so I'll just choose this one for right now. So you can go ahead and customize the background how you choose with either color, image, or video. Again, you can, you can add a, a header if you want to. Um, you can enable or disable the, the headline, the subheadline, um, the little you know, turn, uh, turn up uh, the volume if you want to. Um, so I can just do something like that if I want. Uh, we have lots of different video skins that we've added. So right now you're looking at the uh, Blackboard Large. Maybe I want to make this the, an iPad, or you know whatever whatever it may be. Um, and so we have all these different options that you can do. You know we have the the opt-in form on on the left or on the right. 
okay? Um, so if you're looking to do lead generation or whatever it may be, you can go ahead and change that. For now, I'll just use this whiteboard. Okay, now we also have some social sharing features as well. So you can have Facebook, Google Plus, and Twitter in here. You can have them either share the current URL wherever this is posted, or you can put in some sort of a custom URL to share. Okay, uh, then we have the sales area, which um, which is obviously this button here, as well as um, the 60-day guarantee and the secure order form. Um, in in the uh, version that we launch, whenever you hover over one of these elements, it's going to highlight on the page. So it makes it just a little bit easier, but um, we're still working on that, at least at the time of, of this uh, recording. Okay, And we also have a little footer that you can you can change. So um, again, we're going to have a lot more different templates. Um, each template can be customized based on the different elements on the page. Okay. Now, the other really cool features that we were really like super proud of is, is this the video settings. So the video settings, you can use either uh, a custom URL. Um, so you can you know host it on Amazon or wherever you want. And uh, you can play the video that way. Or you can use YouTube. Okay. We use their YouTube API. And basically, you'll have all of the same features regardless of if you, if you use it custom or YouTube. And so a lot of you guys that are using Wistia, um, you, know, you may be paying you know, hundreds or, or even thousands of dollars per month, depending on how much traffic you're getting. And we basically tried to create what Wistia had plus additional features, but you can use it with YouTube. So you, can, you, know, you have a free hosting service, but still have all of the control that Wistia has. Um, so that, that's one of the really main selling points that we have here. Now, for now, I'm just going to leave this as is, but um, you, know, you can go in and, and actually, if I wanted to, I could uh, add a, a YouTube URL. Um, let me go ahead and I'm, I'm just going to add a YouTube URL quickly just so you can kind of see um, how it works. I'll just use this Phil Mickelson shot. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Okay, so I'm going to put in the URL. Okay, so there it is. All right. Um, I could add a, a thumbnail if I wanted to. That's completely up to you. Okay. Now the video behavior. Okay. We can auto start the page or auto start on page load. So the video will automatically start if I wanted to. Uh, I'm not going to do that just yet because it, it kind of shows you the page in real time and it'll start playing the video. Um, you can also have uh, resume where the visitor left off. So if the visitor leaves after watching a minute of the video, you can have the user um, come back. And you'll see it, it'll show it'll show this this image here. It'll say you know watch from the beginning or skip to where they left off. So really cool feature there. You can choose what happens when the video ends. If you want it to just play again, or if you want to pause on the first frame or the last frame, show an empty frame. Okay. And then we have some more video controls. So you can either show the control bar if you want to, or another really cool feature is if you want to show the control bar after a certain number of visits. Right. So maybe you know the visitor has come and they've interacted with your video three or four times but they don't want to have to wait you know maybe they want to scroll like halfway through the video and, and watch a certain part of that video again we'll say you know after three visits I want that control bar to show up and so you can do it that way okay um, you can control if you want it to show up on hover only or if you want it to always show okay and then uh, the control bar is um, or I'm sorry then you have the option for the control bar uh, play button, okay, which will show up right here. Uh, the progress bar just kind of shows where uh, the video is with, you know, or what, what, what length or what time it's at. Okay. Then you have the mute button, the full screen option. If you want those options on there, then we have some, some opt-in, opt-in overlays, right? So if you want to have the user uh, opt in, you know, at the start of the video, at the end of the video during a certain time, you know, maybe after 10 seconds or whatever, you can go ahead and uh, you can integrate your form right in here. And so right now I've only integrated with Aweber, so I could click on my Aweber, and uh, it's going to load up the form. So I could, uh, and so I can pick which list I want them to be uh, involved in or, or added to, and I can add, you know, if I want first name, last name, email, whatever it may be, or if I'm just doing a raw HTML, I just put in the the, the form code there. Okay, um, so I'll just do. Uh, Aweber for right now. You can choose your field background colors, your text colors, all that kind of stuff. Um, the color overlay, you know, you know, say I want it to be green for whatever reason. Okay, I can change the opacity of it. So really, really cool. So we've really, you can customize the hell out of these videos, guys, if you haven't noticed yet. 
the skip button if you if you want it to be mandatory or not um, you can add a skip button in there and let me just close this one up okay so that's the opt-in overlay oops let me pause that then you have the share gateway so instead of an opt-in form maybe you want to do a share gateway or both you can do both if you want to um, so say that I have that and say I want it to show up at the very end you know thank you for watching our video to continue click share or something like that and you can choose from all of our different um, share buttons and you can customize the text um, what the title and the shared picture are going to be when they go out and uh, share it on their Facebook fan page okay again the uh, the overlay colors the opacity um, which URL they're going to be sharing that kind of stuff um, so that's for the share gateway and then we have a call to action so you could add in a call to action it can be text image based or it can be just straight HTML that you can put straight on to the video okay so you can put in some sort of call to action a buy button whatever whatever it may be right then you have the option to pause the video if um, in the in the viewport right so if they're if the video isn't in the viewing area you can automatically have that pause so as you can see guys there's tons of really cool features um, one other feature that we're we're, work, we're finalizing right now is being able to drop in some sort of a call to action underneath the video for anyone that's using the uh, the press play templates okay and one more really quick feature I wanted to show you are the stats. So uh, we're still uh, improving on the stats page, but just so you get a better understanding of what you're going to be able to get, there's going to be um, conversion stats. Now, conversion stats are only going to show if you put the conversion pixel on your thank you page. Okay, so you can track the number of, of um, buyers, right? Um, then we also have the vid uh, visitor uh, or video plays and engagement. So you can see, first you can see, you know, number of views, um, and uniques over you know over time and then we're also um, it's not showing right now uh, something that we're, we're, we're fixing but it'll show you the drop-off rate on your video so it'll show you the time on one side and the number of visitors and you can see you know is there a certain time during your video are people dropping off the video okay so that is something else that we're also gonna have and that's perfect for if you're doing any type of testing or if you want to see you know how your videos are performing um, you can just easily um, you know go into your stats here and so um, all I did was go into the project and I just clicked on stats here okay so um, all of our templates are responsive so they'll work on any mobile device or, or desktop browser um, and uh, we're, we're continuously adding new features even even right before the launch and, and after the launch so um, as you can see guys it's a, it's a hybrid of lead pages Wistia um, easy video suite all wrapped into one and uh, it's extremely powerful and uh, it's you know we built this just basically because we were spending so much on on uh, you know premium video solutions and we're you know you can't really customize your videos how you want to uh, with other solutions and so that's one of the main reasons that we built this software so anyways that is a demo of uh, the application